Hello, welcome to OneQA. In this session, we are going to talk about the quality center or the application lifecycle management, the requirements module. In the previous sessions, we have discussed and understood the complete overview of all of the modules in the desktop clean to tool. So we have looked at the release management, we have looked at the requirements management, we have looked at the test management, we have looked at the defects management, we have looked at the development management. Now let's go and talk about individual modules and understand what we can do and implement for a project. So with the consideration of that, so let's take the requirements module and understand what exactly is the requirements module, how we could make use of this particular requirements module for adding the requirements, for reviewing the requirements, for creating multiple projects, for creating requirements and moving, requirements traceability, requirements mapping to test cases, requirements mapping to defects, and all sorts of requirements implementation, tracking, managing, and documenting, reviewing, updating. So all the things that we are going to look at and understand and practically learn about the complete step-by-step -step all about the requirements module in the application lifecycle management. So let's get started. So let me open up the tool now. And let's log in into the quality center or the application lifecycle management. Let's open the client tool or as usual, let's go to the main URL. From there, let's navigate to the application lifecycle management, the desktop client. And we would log in as Gary. And the password for the Gary is entered. And let me authenticate. So what is the authenticate? Authenticate would authenticate and check and get you the things that you have authentication or you have access to. So Gary has authenticated to or Gary has access to the default to domain and he has access to own QA and shopping cart. So let me pick the shopping cart application and let's log in into the system. And we would take up one sample application and then we would understand how we can proceed to make use of requirements creation, requirements review, updation, tracking, managing, and all the stuff with respect to requirements. So straight away, let's go to the requirements. And you could notice there are two modules, the requirements module and the business models. Let me just go to the requirements now. And the requirements, what it is, and what are we going to do here? And how come this helps to track down and manage the requirements? To understand that, first of all, you need to understand the different menus available. Example, we have the requirements menu where we can create the folders, where we can create the new requirements, where we can go to the requirements, and we can send by email about the requirements that we created. And then you can see edit, where we can copy, copy the documentation, copy the text, place it and get all the stuff. And then we have view, where we can view the filters, where we can view the requirements tree, where we can view the requirements details in a grid or table, all sorts of information. We have version, where we can control the checkout, check-in process, where we can track down the versions. And then favorites where we can add particular release folders, particular uh, documentations, particular requirements to favorites, and then analysis, where we can say what kind of requirements that we have added, and how many are mapped, what is the traceability, and what is the table report to give the total number of requirements, mapped, not mapped, test cases covered, not covered, implemented, not implemented, so all the things. So in addition to that, when we select each and every requirement, we have the requirements description, the requirements comments, reviews, and then the attachments, and then the development activity and history. Now, since we have these many modules, 
Now let's go and talk about the basic implementation. You could notice the requirements is the main folder. So under the requirements, what I wanted to do, I wanted to create my project. Example, my project is shopping cart. So I would add shopping cart name. Once we add that shopping cart name, you can see the shopping cart is added. Now under this, I wanted to say release one requirement. And to do that again, let me add another project. My project name is uh, release one requirements. Let me say OK. And you could see that requirements added. Now under this, or if you don't believe the release one, release two, release three, or if you wanted to do something else, let me remove this and say under the shopping cart, let's say I wanted to proceed to create, first of all, my functional requirements. Functional requirements. You can also give spaces if required. And then you could say non-functional requirements. Let me just go and create another and I would say non-functional requirements. So this is the way we can create a segmentations. So we have shopping cart application created and we have uh, functional requirements and we have non-functional requirements. Let me just go to the functional requirements. In the functional requirements, what we can do, now we can go and create the requirements. You can see the new requirements and how many ways that we can create. As you right click, you could see add a new requirement or add a new folder or you can also just go to the menu, create a new folder or new requirements or you could also simply create on the toolbar. So this is the way it allows us to create the release requirements folders and the category of the requirements and then we can just go and add the requirements. So before we go, so we know how to create the folders. And example, let me also create another folder now. I would say, let me right click and add a folder. And I would say this is my business requirements. And let me hit OK. Once done, once done, what I wanted to do, I wanted to move this business requirements on top. So how do we do that? You can just drag and drop it here. You can see automatically the business requirements are moved up. Or if you don't want, you could also move by using the tab. Move down and move down. Example, I wanted to move business reviews on top. You can drag and drop or you can also use the toolbar options to do that. So this is the way you have the sequence that we have to create or the sequence that we wanted to look into or the sequence that we can easily follow and understand. Now we know how to create, how to sequence. Let's say I wanted to remove this. You can right click on the folder and say remove, delete. Or you can also click on the toolbar and you should be the administrator or you should have the project management access to do that. If you don't have, we cannot remove the folders into the project. So once we have the uh, requirements created, requirements projects created, requirements folders and requirements, uh, what do you call segmentations created. Now what I'm going to do, you can see these are all unique IDs. While you click on this ID, it opens up that particular uh, division, that particular uh, information. Now in this one, you can say this is created by Gary. What is the date? So and so date is created and you can, you can, if you want, you can enlarge it so that you can see each and every piece clearly. Let me little more drag it. So this is the in and out of that particular dialogue. So this is a folder in case if you wanted to change that to a group or to a testing or to a business, you could still do that. Example, I wanted this as a functional icon and let's say a comment because I'm adding it. I'm updating what was created. So we need to say something because it's going to track down the requirements. It is going to track down the changes. Let me say test. Okay. And 
some database issue that should be good let me say okay now this could have been changed because of some access it's not changed maybe i would log in as administrator and do that so at this point of time let me just go and we could still change this i might not have administrative access for the gary and let me just go and do that in a while so once it is done you could also see is this covered first of all what is coverage coverage i have a functional requirements module or function requirement segmentation where i have 15 functions or 15 requirements did we create all the requirements and for all the requirements did they have the test cases are they executed so that you can do that here example we have test cases which are not executed or they have created plans everything is passed or it is not yet created still not covered not implemented so you could put everything so all these requirements in this module reviewed or not reviewed so you can just cross check and based on the information what you wanted to maintain for a project we can do that example let me just go to the attachment for this functional requirements let's say i have 10 documents you could just go and click on the file and add the requirements example let me just go i'm going to add a requirement and seems like gary does not have administrative access so let me give that access in a while so we can do that accessing available functions we can have the attachment we can have the url we can take a photo or a snapshot and we can add some notes we can refresh we can link the documents if at all we have created any defects even those defects can have, can be also linked and we have development activities we have requirement traceability so all the things can be done so i'm going to give gary the administrative access and then we would come back and revisit and do that everything at this point of time once we have created the folders then let's go and create the basic requirements how to do that right click on the corresponding segment and right click and say create a new requirement what requirement example this is a test requirement we are not going to talk about a project yet we would do that but at this point of time this is a test requirement and what is that it belongs to it's a functional requirement and who created by default it's gary and you could, if you need you could also assign that to different users but let me say this is created by gary and what is the creation date you can mention today's date and you can add the information whatever required so all the things which are in red which are which have got star mark are really important mandate would be filled other things can be skipped and you could also add the documentations you could also add the information about the requirement so all the things whatever needed so that it helps us a lot to understand can be done here attachments the detailed documentation everything can be done once done submit it and you could see the document is submitted and one requirement is created and this is the id so this is the way that we could get started with the requirements and i'm going to stop and come back again where i would give the administrative privileges and we would talk about in detail about adding the requirements reviewing the requirements updating the requirements recommend traceability everything and we would see what is this not covered and when can we say it is covered so all the things so at this point of time we know how to create the requirements folders how to create the projects how to create the different segmentations for the requirements and how to create the requirements and there are so many things you might need to get access in detail so that we would talk about the link defects the development activity the requirement traceability the test coverage and all sorts of information for the requirements so thank you so much thanks for watching the video hope you liked it so let me summarize what we have discussed in this session in this session we have concentrated and understood the overview of the requirements module since we understand the overview of the requirements module in the next session we would log in as the administrator because all the people would not have access to create the requirements or to create the folders or to remove the folders or to make everything happen for a project only the leaders the project managers 
only the administrators would have that privileges so i'm going to create gary and administrator accounts and we would come back and learn how we can create requirements how we would review how we could trace them how we could map the requirements to defects or test cases and how we could move them sequentially and how all the things like linking defects linking documentation adding snapshots adding the documentation detail your documentation and open up a new application and try to pull out the requirements and add the requirements so all sorts of information that we need to learn and we need to implement in the next sessions so thank you so much thanks for watching the video please visit onq.com there are so many videos presentations articles books and pdfs with respect to automation test management performance testing and functional testing so thank you so much and see you again